You call hamburgers steamed hams? Yes. It's a regional dialect. Uh-huh. Uh, what region? Uh, upstate New York. Connecticut. Connecticut is where they're actually from. Oh, and by the way, uh, you and Edna Krabobble hook up, then she leaves you for Ned Flanders, then she dies. You're in for a rough couple seasons, buddy. Man, they never put enough mayo in these. Yeah, believe it or not, steamed hams are a real food. Just head to any small town diner in Connecticut. And behind the dining counter, you'll see chefs cooking patties and melting the cheese, all in a custom-built steam cabinet. I know that sounds insane, but it results in a nice, juicy meat patty. And as they say in Connecticut, let's go cook us up some burgers. <laughs> yeah, George W. Bush was born in Connecticut. Wrap your head around that. Now let's season our beef. Just place it into a bowl. Remove whatever this is. And let's season it with some salt. Some, some cracked black pepper. And some cayenne. Mix everything together by hand. Now we need a vessel to put our ground beef in. And I found out that these little mini pie trays are the perfect size. Now these do look a little bit on the big side, but our beef is actually going to contract as it cooks. So you need something with a bit of surface area. Let's we'll taste this pie tray and fill it up uh, two thirds of the way with ground beef. Now what good is a hamburger without cheese? And for that, we're going to be using white cheddar. You want proof that this is white cheddar? <laughs> Captain speaking, we just landed in Houston where the local time is 2.04 p.m. <laughs> Let's just take about two to three ounces of sharp cheddar and put it in a heat proof dish. Oh, and uh, make sure you put a piece of foil on top because at least with the sharp cheddar I bought, steam and melted cheese will result in a grainy, ugly mess. Now comes the fun part, the cooking. Now, I set up two pots. We'll cook the burger in one and melt the cheese in the other. Now get a steamer basket and place it in your pots. I didn't have time to get another steamer basket, okay? So once you got your baskets into the pots, set the heat to high on both. Now once the pots boil, reduce the heat down to medium low. and let them cook for 15 minutes. Seymour! Okay, using a slotted spoon, place your patty on our burger. And take our melted cheese and just throw that stuff right on top. built for a superintendent. Best part, I beat binging with Babish to this before he could. You hear that Babish? There's only room for one comedic cooking show on this channel. No, I have to think it's busy with Babish. He is an awesome YouTube chef that makes delicious food from shows and movies. I'm putting this disclaimer here so that no emotionally unstable drama addict, i.e. Keemstar, drives a wedge between me and Babish. In fact, I'll put a link to his channel on my page. Yo Babs, how about returning the favor, eh? This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun. I'm mean it this time. Hey, CRJ here. If you liked the video, smash that like button. If you really liked the video, perhaps subscribing and maybe hitting the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Also, I'll be at VidCon 2018 in Anaheim. Hope to see you there.